So do you use shop towels or do you use paper towels around the shop? I've been using paper towels and I'm not so sure that that's a good idea. Today we're going to be testing a whole bunch of different brands of shop towels and then comparing them against a couple of paper towels to see which brand is the best. We'll see which brand does the best job absorbing oil. We'll measure the wet and the dry strength of the towels. We'll test the abrasive resistance of each brand. We'll also see how much lint and fiber they shed on abrasive surfaces. Finally, we'll use one brand as a head gasket in a small engine and we'll see how long it lasts. So why spend almost twice as much for shop towels when you can buy a paper towel for only three cents each like this great value ultra strong brand or three dollars and 67 cents for 120. Made in the USA from domestic and imported materials. An equal section of each brand was folded three times then clamped in place on the tester. Let's first test a dry towel and it only took 23 pounds to pull apart the great value ultra strong dry paper towel. Let's saturate the great value ultra strong towel with brake parts cleaner and see how it holds up. And the Great Value brand actually did well at 19 pounds, only a four pound loss after exposure to brake parts cleaner. Costing four cent or only one cent more than the Great Value Ultra Strong is this Bounty brand paper towel or $4.64 for 110 sheets. It claims to be the quicker picker upper. We're gonna test that. Made in the USA from domestic and imported materials. Bounty pulled apart at 20 pounds, which is three pounds less than Great Value. So Great Value holds onto the lead and a brake parts cleaner saturated bounty paper towels separated at only 13 pounds, which is six pounds less than the Great Value brand. The least expensive brand we'll be testing is sold at Harbor Freight, and it's a toolbox brand at $2.79, or five cents per towel. It claims to work like cloth. We're gonna test that. Absorbs oil and grease, strong when wet. We're gonna test that too. Made with 40% post-consumer recycled fibers. The toolbox shop towels are made in USA. The toolbox shop towels pulled apart at 21 pounds, which is two pounds less than the Great Value Ultra Strongs. And the saturated toolbox towel separated at only six pounds, which is seven pounds less than Bounty and 13 pounds less than Great Value. The second least expensive brand we'll be testing at 11 cents each, which is more than twice as much as the Tool Shop brand, is this Trimaca Super Tough. It claims to be strong and absorbent, thousands of uses, 25% post-industrial fiber content. The Super Tough towels are made in USA, and Super Tough moves into the lead over the other brands tested with a 29 pound performance. Wow, only eight pounds of tensile strength, which is 11 pounds less in great value. At 14 cents per shop towel, the Scott Shop Original is nearly three times as expensive as the Harbor Freight Toolbox. Absorbs oil and grease. Strong, works well when wet. The Scott Shop towels are made in USA. Scott claims to be strong, but really struggled at only 14 pounds to pull apart the towel, moving it into the last position. Just like the other two shop towels tested, Scott also struggled after exposure to brake parts cleaner, putting up only six pounds of strength. We'll also be testing the White Ball X80, which is made by Kimberly Clark. It costs 15 cents per towel or $23.87 for 160 towels. Made in USA. White Ball shop towels really impressed, requiring 133 pounds to split the towel. White Ball didn't seem too bothered by the brake parts cleaner either with a 105 pound performance. So White Ball moves into the lead. Coming in at 16 cents each or $9.46 for 60 towels is this Torque brand Shop Max Shop Towels. Ideal for oil, grease, and automotive maintenance. Spills. General cleaning. Made in the USA. Torque Shop Max came apart at 22 pounds, definitely not enough to move into the lead. And the wet Torque Shop Max towel came apart at only 8 pounds. At a price of 18 cents per towel or $32.32 .32 for 180 towels is this Torque brand Industrial Paper Wiper. Product made with 100% recycled fiber. Skin friendly, oil and water, strong, multi-purpose. Made in USA. Torque Industrial did much better than Torque Shop Max at 53 pounds with a dry towel. The wet towel also did very well at 28 pounds, moving into second position behind White Ball. At a price of 20 cents each or $35.84 for 180 shop towels is this Crew 600 brand, which is made by Kimberly Clark Professional. This one claims to be a low lint shop towel. The Crew brand is engineered exclusively for the demanding professional in the vehicle repair, maintenance, and paint, body, and equipment operations. Made in USA. Crew 600 did above average at 38 pounds with a dry towel. It was nearly as strong after exposure to brake parts cleaner at 34 pounds. 
at 25 cents per towel or $24.56 for 100 of these shop towels is this Georgia Pacific Brawny Professional brand. It claims to be strong, absorbent, reusable, low lint. The H stands for HEF or Hydro Entangled, which is the name of the process used to make this product of synthetic and cellulose fibers. Made in the USA with foreign and domestic materials. The Brawny towel did terrific at 80 pounds of tensile strength for the dry towel moving into the second position behind white ball. It remained very strong at 69 pounds with brake parts cleaner. And the most expensive brand we'll be testing at 27 cents for each towel or $26.79 for 100 is this Sonterra brand, which is an aerospace grade wipe. No information on the packaging where these aerospace grade wipes are made. Sonterra moved into second place with 86 pounds of strength for the dry towel. The brake parts cleaner had very little impact at 85 pounds when wet compared to 86 when tested dry. So the White Ball X80 is the strongest towel for the dry pull-apart strength at 133 pounds, Sonterra second at 86, Brawny third at 80, and Torque Industrial fourth at 53 pounds. After exposure to brake parts cleaner, once again White Ball came in first, Sonterra second at 85, Brawny third at 69, and Crew 600 fourth at 34 pounds. Shop towels are usually advertised as more durable compared to paper towels. I built the next test device to help us assess each brand. The device pivots and articulates to ensure nearly equal downward pressure and balance on the two fingers. The fingers are flexible and padded to simulate actual fingers. There's just over three pounds of downward force that'll be applied to the towels. Once the concrete paver is saturated in water, we'll see how many times the towels can be pulled across the concrete paver before the fingers wear through or the towel rips. The test will end if the towel tears on one or both fingers. Testing great value ultra tough first. And the great value only made it about five inches before I could hear the sound of the glove making contact with the concrete. The paper towel didn't just wear through, but it actually tore. Let's see if Bounty can do any better. And Bounty did about the same as the Great Value paper towel, falling apart about halfway across the concrete paver. The Toolbox Shop towel definitely did a better job than both Great Value and Bounty, making it most of the way across the concrete paver before wearing through in two small areas. After one pass across the concrete, the Super Tough showed moderate wear. After a second pass, the concrete wore through on one side. After the third pass, the concrete had worn through both sides, so Super Tough has done the best so far. After just one pass, the Scott Paper Towel had a pretty bad tear across one of the fingers. White Ball continues to impress, making six passes across the paver before a tiny wear through area formed. After the seventh pass, the holes were slightly larger, but the White Ball did not tear. Unfortunately, the Torque Shot Max didn't even make a complete pass across the paver before the paper towel tore, ending the test. Unfortunately, the Torque Industrial really struggled in this test with similar results to that of the Great Value paper towel. The Crew 600 did a terrific job in this test, finally wearing through on the fourth pass. So White Ball remains in the lead, but Crew 600 is definitely in second. Just like the White Ball, the Brawny did exceptionally well, making it six passes across the concrete before completely wearing through the towel. Even after six passes, the towel had great strength in the area surrounding the wear through. Sonterra definitely did the best, making it across the paver eight times before finally wearing through. The material directly surrounding the wear through was still very strong. The abrasion resistance grading scale is subjective. The higher the score, the better. A six indicates exceptionally good abrasion resistance, and a one indicates very poor abrasion resistance. Sonterra definitely came in first. White Ball and Brawny seem nearly the same time for second, and Crew 600 third. If you plan to use shop towels to clean up leaks and spills, this next test will provide some great information on saturation and capacity. I'll first weigh a nine by nine inch section of each towel, then I'll completely saturate the towel in 5W30 motor oil, then I'll hold the towel above the plate for 90 seconds to allow the oil that isn't fully absorbed into the towel to drain away. I'll then weigh the shop towel again. So the Great Value towel started off weighing 2.36 grams. Once fully saturated, it weighed 34.05 grams. Subtracting the weight of the towel, the Great Value held 31.69 grams of motor oil. Bounty claims that their towel is the quicker picker-upper and it proved to be true with Bounty picking up 40.71 grams, which is 9 grams more than the Great Value. The Toolbox Shop Towel actually did well at 32.06 grams, beating the Great Value Paper Towel, but Bounty held onto the lead at 40.71 grams. Super Tough didn't do nearly as well as the other brands, only holding 27.55 grams of oil. Scott did very well in this test at 35.85 grams, moving into the second position behind Bounty. White Ball didn't do nearly as well as the leading brands, only holding 27.3 grams of oil. Torque Shop Max did well at 32.47 grams, moving into third position behind Bounty and Scott. 
Torque Industrial didn't do nearly as well as Torque Shop Max at 29.7 grams. Cruise 600 didn't do nearly as well as other leading brands, only holding 28.5 grams of oil. While Bronny is a very strong towel, it really struggled in this test, finishing in last place at 20.85 grams. While Sonterra is a very strong towel that resists abrasive wear, it finished next to last at only 21.62 grams. So Bounty finished in first, holding nearly 5 grams more than Scott, which finished in second place. Torque Shot Max finished third, Toolbox fourth, and Great Value fifth. In the next test, we'll measure the capillary and absorbent power of each brand. I'll place the bottom edge of each towel in water, and we'll measure how far up the wall the brown dyed water is able to climb in one minute. Great Value Ultra Strong is on the left, and Bounty is on the right. And the water is traveling up the Bounty towel a lot faster than the Great Value. And the water made it up the Great Value towel two and a half inches, and Bounty two and three quarter inches, so Bounty is in the lead. Toolbox is on the left, and Super Tough is on the right. And the Toolbox brand is definitely outpacing Super Tough. And Toolbox pulled up two and a quarter inches and super tough only two inches so bounty holds on to the lead scott is on the left and white ball is on the right and the white ball is moving the water very quickly and might possibly beat bounty but it's going to be very close and it's two inches for scott and three inches for white ball so white ball takes the lead from bounty Torque Shot Max on the left and Torque Industrial on the right. And Torque Industrial takes the win with 2 and 5 eighths inches compared to Torque Shot Max, which really struggled at 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. Crew 600 on the left and Brawny is on the right. And the water just isn't moving very quickly with either brand, with Brawny finishing ahead of Crew 600 at 2 inches and Crew 600 at an inch and a half. The Sonterra is racing solo and needs to beat 3 inches for the overall win. And Sonterra finished at 2 and 7 sixteenths of an inch, definitely not enough for the win. So it's White Ball finishing in first. First, Bounty second, Torque Industrial third, Great Value Ultra Strong fourth, and Sonterra fifth. If you're needing a shop towel for cleaning internal engine or transmission components, you definitely don't want to use a towel that sheds material. In the next test, each towel will be pulled across a dry concrete paver, and then I'll use a microscope to rate the amount of lint particles left behind. And the Great Value towels left a lot of material behind. Bounty seemed to shed just as much as the Great Value towel. The Toolbox Shop Towels seem to shed just as much as a great value in Bounty Paper Towels. Super Tough definitely did better than the previous three brands. Scott did about the same as Super Tough. White Ball did about the same as Super Tough as well. Torque Shop Max and Torque Industrial both experienced quite a bit of shedding. Crew 600 actually did the best yet with very little shedding. Prani did great as well with very few fibers left behind. Wow, Sonterra did an amazing job and I couldn't locate any fibers. Well, this is a highly subjective assessment with five being a perfect score and one being the lowest possible score. Sonterra definitely did the best. Prani and Crew 600 did a very respectable finish with the rating of a four. These Briggs and Strat and head gaskets cost around five dollars each and i sometimes use five or six of these for just one video since the white ball brand is by far the strongest towel and claims to be reusable let's see if it'll work as a head gasket i'll use the cylinder head to hold the towel in place while i drill holes in the towel there's no need to trim out the middle portion of the towel since it'll work great as fuel Oh, nice. I'm really surprised the engine lasted nearly a minute. Let's pull off the cylinder head and see what caused the failure. Not surprisingly, it burned through right where the exhaust valve is at. So back to the original question. Are paper towels a big waste of money when it comes to cleaning up spills, or are they a good choice? In my opinion, paper towels are by far the most economical choice for picking up spills. However, if you need a really strong towel, especially one that needs to be reusable, the white ball is going to be very hard to beat. If you need a very low lint towel, Sonterra is definitely the best of the ones we tested. All the videos on this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested, so I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. I read and reply to as many comments as possible. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.